Hello, I'm Dr. Nathan Connell, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon with Mayo Clinic Health System, and I'm here to address questions you may have about cochlear implants. So a cochlear implant is an implanted electrical device where instead of using sound waves or acoustic information to stimulate the hearing nerve, we use a small amount of electricity to directly stimulate the hearing nerve that our brains can then perceive as sound. So a hearing aid is a small amplifier that makes the sounds around us louder. Cochlear implant patients do not have the ability to hear those sounds at all. So instead, cochlear implants use electricity to stimulate the hearing nerve directly. So during surgery, I place a small incision behind the ear. I then go through the bone behind the ear, which lets me see into the middle ear space. In the middle ear space, there is a window through which we are able to place the electrode of the cochlear implant into the cochlea itself. After that, we place the receiver portion of the cochlear implant in a pocket underneath the scalp. We then close the incision and the patient is able to go home the same day. The surgery takes anywhere from uh, one to two hours. Good candidates are patients who have a moderate to profound bilateral, so both sides, sensory neural hearing loss or a single-sided profound sensory neural hearing loss, so a hearing loss in one ear. What does that mean for patients specifically? Well, patients who may have a hard time holding conversations on the phone, have a hard time holding conversations in loud, noisy environments with lots of other people around, or patients who may be avoiding going out into public because they are limited in how well they can interact due to their hearing loss, are potentially good candidates for cochlear implantation. This is a fairly routine operation at this point that we've been doing for over 30 years now. Um, risks, anytime we make an incision in the skin, there's a risk of pain, bleeding, infection, and a scar. Luckily, behind the ear, the scar is almost never visible to anybody who would be looking for it. Other risks specific to cochlear implant surgery include facial weakness, taste change, and dizziness. Most, most of the time, those are temporary, and thankfully, they are very rare. So outcomes after cochlear implantation are generally very good. On average, we expect patients to improve their ability to understand speech and words by about six to seven times with the cochlear implant than they were able to before the surgery. To learn more, please click on one of the links on the screen or in the description below.